Hi Tom, today, we will be revising the economic systems. I will ask you questions and I want you to answer them. I want to see how much you have learned. Okay Mr. Jones, I have been studying the economic systems for a while now. I think I am ready to answer your questions. We will first start with the basic question. Tell me what an economy is Tom. People and firms produce, exchange and consume goods and services in an economy. An economy can be of any size, with any number of people and firms involved. Yes. A village or a small town will have a small economy, but may be part of a much larger regional or even national economy. All economies must choose which wants to satisfy and how they allocate their resources, because they have limited resources. They can't just satisfy all their wants. Every economy must therefore decide what goods and services to produce, how to produce them and who to produce them for. Economics refer to this as the problem of resource allocation. Good job Tom, you know more than I expected. Now, I want you to answer a more detailed question. How do economies determine what, how and for whom to produce? The problem of resource allocation involves answering three questions, sir. Economies ask themselves what to produce, how to produce it and for whom to produce it. They work a lot on answering these three key questions. Yes, and there are different answers for these three questions. How an economy decides what goods and services to produce, how to produce them and who to produce them for is called an economic system. Give me detailed information about the different economic systems. An economic system for deciding how scarce resources are used will depend on the decisions and actions of people in that economy. Some people may be very caring and want everyone to have an equal share of scarce resources, while others may want to be rich and powerful by keeping most of the available resources for themselves. An economic system will therefore develop from the way people think and behave, and may also change over time. However, without an economic system few decisions will be made about the allocation of resources, fewer goods and services will be produced and many resources could be left idle. Okay, you are doing really good so far. Now tell me how many economic systems there are. There are three different economic systems sir. There is the market economic system, the planned economic system and the mixed economic system. Okay, now I want you to tell me how these three economic systems differ. I want to know how much the governments and the private sector organizations are involved to these economic systems. I will start with the market economic system. In a free market economic system all decisions are taken by the private sector organizations, Mr. Tom. There is no role for government or a public sector organization and therefore no taxes or public spending. But in a planned economy, most decisions about how resources are used, what is produced, and how goods and services are priced and allocated, are taken by public sector organizations. In the last economic system, the mixed economic system, Ownership of scarce resources and decisions about how to use them are split between the private sector and the public sector organizations. Okay Tom, you did a good job today. It looks like you know everything you need to know for your next exam really well.